Hello everyone, today we'll be overclocking the Pentium K G3258 CPU together with a Gigabyte Z97X SoC Force motherboard. Um, I have the box right here and the motherboard installed already on the system here. We have the CPU, uh, this is not the one I'm going to be using, that one is already on the system and we have some DDR3 high speed memory. First, thing, first things first though, I need to plug back in the CPU fan because I turned it off, it was making too much noise. Now that this is done, let's go into the BIOS. So we're in the BIOS right now. This is the default UEFI Gigabyte Z97 layout. And the easiest way to get to the overclocking section is by pressing left on the keyboard and then enter. You, you'll see the, the little arrow on the left pop up. So this gives us all the settings. Before we start overclocking though, we need to know what our baseline is. So let's go into the operating system, run a benchmark, see the performance level, and then get back into the BIOS to actually overclock. So we're in the operating system to have our baseline benchmark results. Um, first of all, we need to check two things though. The CPU frequency, which is at 3.2 gigahertz default or throttling if you have speed step and stuff enabled. And two is the memory frequency. Uh, on this system, our CPU is clocked at 3.2 gigahertz when in load and it's actually throttling down as you know this idle and it's trying to save power. And two, the memory frequency is at DDR3-1333. It's supposed to be at 2800, so we're gonna have to fine tune that later. But first, let's use the XTU benchmark to, to check the default performance. So during the benchmark, you can use the monitoring information to determine if your CPU is overheating or not. Right now, as I look at the screen, we're running at 53 degrees centigrade, which is totally fine, right? And our CPU frequency is at 3.2 gigahertz, which is also fine. So let's see the result. So the benchmark is done. We have a score of 234 marks, which is uh, to be improved when overclocking. Let's do it right now. Let's go into the BIOS and try to increase by, let's say, 40%. So once we've landed here, there's a couple of options how you can overclock. You can do everything manually, but Gigabyte also presented you with some performance upgrades. So, you know what, let's just try that one. In the drop-down menu, we find 20% to 100% overclock. And since we're very courageous today, we're gonna go for 40% upgrade. So we, we click on that and then just Press F10, save and exit, and go back into the operating system. Very, very easy. So we're back in the operating system, and again, we're going to use CPU-Z to validate our frequencies. So the Gigabyte motherboard is essentially overclocking everything manually, except for us saying, hey, do it by 40%. So we're checking the, the CPU-Z right now, and we see that the, the CPU is overclocked to 4.4 gigahertz. Um, it's so far it's running fairly stable, but it's just an idle. We also see that the memory has been overclocked to DDR3 1600, which is slightly above the 1333 we had before, but still not 2800. So we'll have to take care of that later. Um, for now, let's check the performance again with the XTU benchmark and see how much performance we've gained. Just, just click run. So the benchmark after our CPU overclock has finished and we see that we have 317 marks, which is quite a lot higher than our previous 234 marks. As a, as a XTU indicate, our peak frequency, or pretty much always the same frequency, is 4.4 gigahertz, and the peak temperature was 76 degrees centigrade, which is still fine, there's no problem with that. So the last thing we need to do is take our high-speed high memory and overclock it to 2800. Go back to the BIOS. So we go back into the BIOS and we see that there's a couple of tabs. The first one is frequency, and that's exactly where we increase our CPU by 40%. Second one is memory, and we have to go in there to fine tune our memory to 2800. So let's go in there. First of all, we see that there is an XMP mode. XMP basically overclocks your memory automatically. So we'll go in the drop down and apply profile one. If the memory frequency is not automatically switched to 2800, just check the, the frequency slider and move it all the way to the right so you hit 2800. So let's do that right now, taking the slider all the way to 2800. All right, so that's, that's pretty much it. So we'll save again and go back into the operating system. So we're in the operating system now for the very last time in this overclocking session. Once again, let's check CPU-Z. We, we see that the CPU frequency is 4.4 gigahertz, exactly as intended. And we see that the memory is now clocked at 1400 megahertz, which is DDR3 2800, which is exactly what our memory kit is rated for. Last thing last, um, just check the performance and see if we have a, a nice performance upgrade again. So 
click run. All right, this is our final benchmark result. We're at 323 marks up from 234, which is quite a, quite a nice improvement. We've increased our CPU to 4.4 gigahertz and the memory to DDR3 2800. So as usual, results may, may vary on, on your system. So if it's not stable, try to go to 20%. You can also tune manually. There's tons of guides out on the internet to do how to fine tune everything to your specific needs. But this is how it basically works. Very simple, very easy.